welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock squash, and I'm here today doing a market review. Why? Because the market gapped down today unexpectedly. I don't remember the reason. I don't know if there was a reason. I don't even care if there was a reason. The fact is the market gapped down. So let's take a look at it. The open today was 112.09. I saw we gapped down this morning, and I thought there was a possibility we could hold, but we broke the low, flipped, tried to go over the high couldn't hold over the high and so now we did actually gap down and fall today when I was writing the support numbers for the market today the support I wanted the market to hold was really 112 and 111 let's look at the low the low is 111 that was the maximum support that I had written down that I didn't want to break today and we did hold it now the day isn't over it's 1.45 Eastern Time, Friday on December 11th. Did not expect the market to fall like this at all. We did bounce in here, 12.15, 12.45, but we have to hold, actually. We have to hold and we have to rally higher and further if we're gonna, if we're gonna go and not break the low again today. And it's not, certain if we're going to actually not break the low again today. This really was a number that should hold, but I didn't expect the market to gap down today. Now, when am I going to know? Two o'clock. If we continue rallying here and hold here in the 60 minute, and the 30 minute, the 15 minute chart, we could close like around here. Like we could close around 112. And if that happens, then we should gap up or gap neutral and rally on Monday morning. But I really didn't expect the gap down today. So a lot of things are red, even strong stocks are red today. Is the market falling off a planet from the gap down today? No, it's not. I don't know where we close yet. Like I said, this was the maximum level of support that I wanted to hold and it did hold, but it's gotta actually hold here for this to continue and follow through here next week to go higher. This is still not breaking the trend in the market. I know that's difficult for people to believe and people still say, how can we possibly make a new high before the end of the year? We only got two more weeks left or three more weeks left and we're really getting close. And how can you say that, Melissa, when we gap down? Would I have shorted the gap down in the market today? No, no, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have. Now, I did not break this gap, I, I could have. I didn't, maybe I will over the weekend, but I still have the same look at the market as I have had, which is that we will follow through higher and make a new high even before the end of the year. So the last high was 115.75. Actually, we did this the December 2nd. We still have another however many days to do it. But I really didn't expect this gap down in the market today. So we do need to hold and follow through higher next week if we're going to make a new high before the end of the year. We'll have to see what happens. But the market is still so strong. The one thing that I noted and I was talking to somebody today is that when, when things are weak, I'm very good at reading weakness and I can see it. Now I know today and today we're weak and we have a red body and we'll close with a red body today. Although I believe we'll close with a taily thing if we hold in here at two o'clock. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to say, oh my gosh, panic, panic, because we have red. But there isn't panic here to me in this chart. And that's why I keep saying we're gonna hold and go higher. When something falls off a cliff, it is very, very evident. And if we were going to break the trend in the market, we would have done it back in the summer when this happened because we really did kind of fall off a cliff here. But then we, we got bought, okay, which is what is giving me the confirmation and 100% conviction that, that we're still higher because this could have broken the trend in the market. The day the market gapped down on August 24th and gapped down, Close was 102.40. The day the market gapped down here, almost 10 points, it was eight, and dropped 10 points into the open and swooshed and then negated the swoosh. If we were if we were ever gonna fall off a planet, we would have done it that day, this year, which which we didn't. And not only that, we got bought. So, you know, again, the market's still higher, but I can see why people now are getting antsy. And that's why some strong stocks are red today because people are scared that they're up in longs and they want to take the profits. But I'm telling you, they're all going to miss out when the market makes a new high and rallies again. So I don't know what your time horizon is for any of the longs that you're in if you're in long-term longs, but, but the market still is strong to me and is still holding the trend even with the gap down today. So this is Melissa Armour with a stock swoosh. The next building gap class is December 19th and 20th. If you're interested in more information or would like to learn from me how to read charts like this one, then email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. 
Maybe I'll do a video over the weekend to see how we close today. It does look like we're bouncing here, and that is going to be the low of the day. It's, it's really got 10 more minutes in here to hold at 2 o'clock. Have a great day, everyone.